downtown Schenectady, I'm going to cover the graffiti problem that's out of control. I'm just going to show a little bit of what's happening downtown and I'm going to bring us to the tracks, the railroad tracks, where the train station is. That's my concern for the day because it's such a mess up there and it needs to be cleaned up right away. I'm hoping that the city council and mayor will get together and do something about this problem. The same ones who are doing the graffiti are breaking windows in buildings. Along with the graffiti, another developing situation with the rash of break-ins in downtown Schenectady. Bymores alone has been hit about six times this year, with bricks thrown right through the window. This was taken on the morning of January 17, 2012 at approximately 4 a.m. I had actually caught the person breaking into the building. I was across the street, didn't have my camera. After I was spotted, I watched the man hurry up the street and I went and got my camera and waited for a few hours hoping that he would return and I would be able to walk up and catch him and do an interview of why are you breaking into this business but uh, it never happened. Now let's be honest, why would anyone want to open a business in downtown Schenectady with this kind of activity happening? This is the bridge at Liberty Street just before Erie Boulevard. You see a continuous blacking out of the graffiti that they have to do. I used to like looking at these walls as I walked when I was a kid. They were white and the ceramic tiles were shiny. Now look at it, it's just a big mess. What's that say? Does for life? Wow, how immodest is that? Okay, up on the tracks, here we are. And this is some of the graffiti we're gonna look at. And this is what the passengers must have to look at when they look out the window leaving Schenectady. Look at that, here's a can of paint. Obviously it was used to uh, spray some of the mess here. Now some people will argue that what we're looking at is art. Um, I don't see it. I just see a big mess. And uh, it looks like someone's just writing their name, scribbling, uh, writing stupid stuff that doesn't mean anything to anybody. What do you think? Here again, more stupid stuff, obscenities, uh, just nonsense. This is the train station platform, and this is what the passengers will see first upon arriving in Schenectady. What do you think of this guy, R-E-T-S? And how about this one? I mean, what do these words or names even mean to anybody? Oh, well, this is a big mess. What do you think? Is this art? Would you consider this graffiti to be art? For me, it's a big mess. It's ugly. Disgusting. I mean, who would want to even waste their time putting this mess on walls? It's disgusting. It's stupid. This is obviously the work of a handful of numbskulls who, for some reason, think that people really want to look at their garbage. 
Well, I don't. I don't think anyone else really wants to either. What kind of impression is being put forth to those visitors who are arriving in Schenectady? Does this look like a safe, nice place to come to? I don't think so. G-I-F-Y Takeover. Okay. Don won. Uh, really stupid things that are just scribbled all over the place. And everyone's going to look at this. And This stuff's been here for a while now. I don't understand why the city's allowing this. This is trash city. That's what it is. That's what it's becoming. Should we keep allowing this? Do you people still want to see this all over downtown Schenectady? This is art to you. I remember the days when the old train station had class. Well, not anymore. It's all over everywhere when you come up here. It's all the same mess. There's no even creativity or nothing worthwhile to look at. Yeah, every part as I'm walking I see squibbles and squiggles and just stupid nothing written everywhere. This is your graffiti, Schenectady. Wiggles by a bunch of uneducated dimwits. Have you ever stopped and considered what must go through the mind of these idiots as they plan their great art? They go to the store, buy paint, get together, sneak around in the night, come up on the tracks. This is what they leave us? This mess? What's wrong with uh, the mayor and city council? What are you guys doing allowing this to stay here? What kind of message are you sending out there? Look at it, it's all over. It's rampant. We have a graffiti plague problem. I'm not showing the whole city, this is just one part, you know? And look at it, it's, uh, it's just, you know, it's out of control. You allow a little bit of graffiti and then it starts growing into more and more everywhere.
Yeah, it's about time that these old train bridges got a paint job. What do you say, folks? How about creating a volunteer task force to remedy this situation? I know I myself would volunteer to paint those bridges. Yeah, everywhere you look, it's all the same. When it's on houses now, that is when it's really going over the top, wouldn't you say? Now look, here's a business being hit. And look at it, it's just stupid, nothing. Ridiculous, look at this. Okay, South Church Street, look, building, residential building. You can see this old bridge in the heart of the stockade, and they constantly have to fight it. You can see the mess, they constantly have to cover it over and over again, and uh, it's just horrible looking. I remember coming down here when I was about 15 years old, 14, 15 and through the years and it was a great experience to come through the stockade but uh... who wants to see this mess here nobody obviously this house was tagged but the owners had to paint over the graffiti that was left here this is the stockade section.